Today I'm walking in the snow in North Carolina. Next week I'm gonna be in the Caribbean on a cruise. So what's the toy photographer to do in that situation? It's time to pack some toys. Hey folks, Dave here. Really, it's me. So when you go on a cruise, uh, there's a really big ship and a lot of things to do, but there's not a lot of living space. Normally when I travel, I bring a big bag full of action figures and all my equipment. So I have all the options available to me. So when I want to feel creative, I can be creative. Now on this trip, which is going to last a week, I also want to feel creative and be creative, but I don't have all the space to bring all the stuff I need to. So I need to pare all that down into just the things that will work for my particular situation. And my situation is that I'm gonna be on a cruise ship for several days, so I have that environment to work with, but I'm also gonna be on beaches and seeing wildlife, and hopefully I'll be going to uh, some Mayan ruins if all that works out. So I wanna have my options work for me on those various levels. So what I've done over the past couple of days is gone through my studio and grabbed all of the toys that kind of speak to me and I started sitting down and really thinking through all of the options and kind of thinking about what inspires me and what grabs my attention. And I've been paring it down and coming up with a few options. So let's jump into how I did that. Alright, I have a few options here, um, but let's talk about one that I actually am going to reject. And that was having a, uh, like a lady figure um, in a swimsuit on the beach, sunning herself with somebody, um, maybe holding an a, a umbrella over her head, uh, serving her some sort of cocktail. The closest thing I have to that is actually the uh, Princess Leia slave outfit from Return of the Jedi. And I figure if I could have a Gamorrean guard doing the serving, that might make an interesting photo. However, after looking at it, I think having that dynamic of a slave girl and a guard on a beach just sends the totally wrong dynamic. That's just not the right vibe. So I'm just going to take that off the table for now and stick to more fun stuff. So I have four choices here. The first choice is this little Indiana Jones dude. And I'm going to hopefully see some Mayan ruins, so he might fit into that environment really well. That is, I think, an easy win. The other thing that is an easy win is Fat Thor. He kind of looks like me, so I figure if I could have a toy that looks like me on a cruise ship, that leads to some potential interesting things. The other two um, actually are going to need a little bit of work before I think I am ready to travel with them for this particular trip. One is the Spider-Man. One thing that I pulled out that I kind of like is from this Into the Spider-Verse kit is uh, Peter B. Parker, I believe. Um, and he has a bunch of accessories. One is um, him holding a cup. So I figure something to do with being out in the morning, maybe overlooking the ocean with Spidey drinking out of a coffee cup. That might have some sort of potential. But I think what I want to do is give or craft him some sort of webbing so I can be able to hang them um, at an appropriate place. So the last thing I'm really excited about is Deadpool here. And I was playing around again with the Into the Spider-Verse, Peter B. Parker, and he has this jacket. And it just gives him this Explorer vibe, especially if you add this hat. 
if you stick these two together, then you have something that could definitely be like traveling Deadpool. I think this could really work. However, there's a problem with this um, in that the back of his jacket is where his katanas go in. And though that is not removable from this figure, so it creates this nasty bulge right there. And I want to get rid of that bulge and have a solution for that. I also want to create some sort of good walking stick. I think that will kind of just sell the adventurer thing. So what's the solution if one Deadpool doesn't work for you? Two Deadpools. Because why buy one? We can have two at twice the price. No, so really what's going on here is um, the Deadpools here, the issue with that hump on his back is that his sword holder here is not removable. So uh, my solution to that is to buy a second figure, one of which I will remove the holder, in which case the jacket will fit. The other one I will leave as is because half the time I want him without the jacket. So best of both worlds. Haha, I think this is going to be perfectly serviceable. So we'll be able to stick the uh, jacket on here. He won't have the bulge. And so what I got to do now is continue on and make the rest of his uh, accessories and we should be good to go. So I finished Deadpool last night and this morning I went for a walk and I brought Deadpool with me and I've been uh, walking up in the blue, beautiful uh, Blue Ridge uh, Mountains uh, near my house here in uh, sunny North Carolina. Um, ironically, it is snowing like crazy here, which for April in North Carolina is kind of unusual, but this Canadian boy is going to take it. Um, so I have Deadpool set up here on that little stump right in there and in front of this island in Bass Lake and then I have everything set up on the tripod here. Um, so I am going to take a few shots to see how, just to see how everything goes. I, I do have the uh, neutral density filter on there. So I'm taking kind of long exposure shots just to get that water kind of nice milky smooth. And because of the focal distance, I'm gonna have to do some focus stacking. I have videos on all those techniques in my channel. So go check them out. I'll put a link somewhere down below up there, wherever YouTube puts links. Um, but for now, I am gonna take a few shots of Deadpool here in situ uh, and then get on hiking. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, show you the final uh, images uh, when I get home and process them. actually kind of pleased with how the Deadpool thing worked out. Um, I think it's going to work well in the situations that I'm going to find myself in. So I'm not really going to know for sure until I'm actually on the trip and using uh, that Deadpool figure where I think it will be used. But this test shot thing that I just did, I think kind of proves that it has merit. So I'm pretty comfortable that that is a great choice for me to have made. And if it doesn't work out, I still have the Spider-Man and the Fat Thor and that Indiana Jones as backup. Um, so I think I should be really good for this trip as far as start photography is concerned. So I'm going to leave you here and I'm going to go finish my walk and then I will see you hopefully on a boat um, in the not too distant future. Cheers.